This is why the fitness industry is honestly full of shit when it comes to your nutrition. Here we have a healthy food, an avocado. We've got toast, which in this case, I mean, if I die at the end of this video because I'm eating bread, please do send my love to my mum, my family, my friends, whatever. We've got Nutella. This is obviously horrendous. We fucking hate Nutella because it's got chocolate in and chocolate is so bad and you shouldn't be eating chocolate and all this bollocks. And then I've got some seasoning for the old avocado, right? Anyway, let's get into it. So, cutting the avocado first, but I need to be careful because I don't want to cut my hand or my fingers off. How's that looking? Oh, this avo is a bit no-no, you know. 2nd of June, it says. The problem is, is what people don't know is avocados are mainly full of fat. That doesn't mean to say that they're bad. It just means that they are mainly full of fat. Salt, oh my God, I'm gonna die. Fat contains nine calories per gram. Lemon juice, season up the ting, you get me, yeah? So we've got half an avocado there, seasoned up nice, which is meant to be a healthy food. Going on toast, lovely jubbly. That looks like what a normal human would eat. I hope. That right there, Avocado on toast is seen as this amazing food. Nutella on toast, oh my God, you are the devil. I'm just gonna take what would look like a normal spreading of Nutella there. Gotta do it over the plate because I don't want crumbs to go everywhere. Do you know what, that's looking a bit, leave it. So I'm gonna go back for a bit more. That's 14 grams of Nutella and honestly, voila. Oh my days. I'll tell you, it's fucking so good. I know I look like a freak and I'm eating avocado on toast and Nutella on toast at the same time. If you put this in front of someone, they will say, this is healthy. And if you put this in front of someone, people will say, oh, you can't eat that because it's fucking chocolate. Honest, my, I am salivating. That's how good Nutella is. The truth is, Nutella is great. There's 15 grams of Nutella on this, which is a healthy spread. You can see it on the camera there. All the bread's covered, mint. There is 100 grams of avocado on this. And this 100 grams is gonna have more calories than the 15 grams of Nutella on there. So if your goal is weight loss, the Nutella on toast is actually gonna be better for you because it's got less calories. The avocado on toast does have better nutritional value but the Nutella on toast, it's got less calories. And ultimately, if your goal is weight loss, you need to consume less calories. So this is gonna be better for you. Today, this actually tastes like absolute shite and I'm not gonna eat it. Usually I bang some pesto in my avocado and bosh. But today it tastes like shit. This on the other hand, it always tastes fucking amazing. When you're thinking of food, there's no such thing as good foods and bad foods. The food that you consume, if it's got more nutritional value, you're going to feel better. But stop demonizing foods that you fucking love because you think they're gonna take you further away from your goals. They're really not. Now tell one toast, banging, less calories than half an avocado on this bit of minging bread. I can't believe how bad that tastes considering I'm doing a tutorial. What do you think? I've got money to go back to Waitrose and fucking buy an avocado. Are you mad? Jesus. To get sustainable results and lifelong results, you need to eat food that you fucking love eating, not food that you think that you have to eat because it's a health food or it's considered healthy. Because if you cut out things like Nutella, chocolate, crisps, or foods that get a bad name, there is gonna come a day where you binge. And when you binge, you're gonna eat everything in sight and you're gonna hate the fucking sight of avocado like I do today. That's honestly put me off for a while, but 
content is content, you know, and content is key. Don't eat minging avocado. Treat yourself with a little bit of Nutella.